close your eyes and be sensitive to the breath. Know when it's coming in, know when it's going out. Know the quality of the breath, because the quality is what allows you to stay. If the breath feels comfortable, keep it up. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can try changing the rhythm. You can think of the breath coming in and out through the whole body and seeing what kind of breathing would feel good for the whole body. Or you can focus on one spot, see what kind of breathing feels at one spot that you find especially sensitive and receptive to the breath. This way you give yourself an anchor, an anchor in well-being, because there's work to be done in the path, but you want to do it with a sense of strength, with a sense of well-being, a sense that you're being nourished by the path. When the Buddha gives different analogies for the different aspects of the path, concentration is the food. Mindfulness is the gatekeeper that makes sure that the enemy doesn't come in through the gate. In other words, your unskillful ha habits and your unskillful urges don't take over the mind. It allows in only the skillful people. In other words, your skillful thoughts. Right effort is like the soldiers. Their learning and the Dharma is like their weapons. But the food, that's concentration. Without food, the, the gatekeeper and the soldiers wouldn't be able to do any work at all. Or they'd start getting lazy. So concentration is here as your food. Nourish yourself well with a sense of well-being. If the physical well-being is not enough, you can add some mental well-being. Think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for everybody around you. Realizing that you're looking for happiness that doesn't harm anybody, so it's totally inoffensive. It's totally unoppressive. It's a good thing for the world. All too often the happiness we look for requires that we gain and somebody else loses. What all, it often happens to is that sometimes they gain and we lose. That kind of happiness creates barriers. Whereas the happiness that comes from a well-trained mind doesn't have any barriers. It doesn't oppress anybody. It doesn't affect their, their true happiness in any way, in any negative way. And so you can remind yourself that what you're doing here is good all around. Good not only for you personally, but also good for the people you, your life touches. So not only for your sake, but for their sake, try to do this well. <laughs>